Hey Cowboys Nation, let's go for another round of news from America's team. Watch until the end so you don't miss any news and sign up to stay tuned for everything that comes out about the Cowboys. $54 million starter a top Cowboys trade target to replace star, analyst. Another Dallas Cowboys offseason means more rumors about the team potentially moving on from star tackle Tyron Smith. Will this be the offseason where it finally happens or can the two parties reach a compromise on a new contract? Bleacher reports Alex Ballantini offered three potential trade targets for the Cowboys to pursue this offseason. At the top of the list is Jacksonville Jaguars left tackle Cam Robinson. The idea is Robinson would be a potential replacement option for Smith. Smith has spent all 13 seasons of his NFL career in Dallas, but sometimes the hard decision has to be made, Valentini wrote in a February 14, 2024 story titled, Cowboys Top Trade Targets Entering 2024 NFL Offseason. If there's a trade that could bring back a younger, functional starter at left tackle then it should be considered. That scenario could play out if the Cowboys find the Jaguars are open to trading away Cam Robinson. The 28-year-old was suspended for the first four games of the season for violating the league's policy on performance-enhancing drugs, Ballantini continued. The suspension voided some of the guarantees in his contract, so the Jags could save $16.1 million in cap space if they were to trade him. That's a lot of flexibility to consider, especially when Walker Little played well in his absence. Cowboys Rumors Cam Robinson's cost makes a trade with the Jaguars unlikely. While not quite as experienced as Smith, Robinson has made 84 starts during his seven seasons in Jacksonville. Robinson is heading into the final season of a three-year, $54 million contract. The veteran is slated to have a $21 million cap hit in 2024, but this number is likely less given Robinson's suspension. Even so, the Cowboys would likely need Robinson to agree to either an extension or reworked deal for it to be viable financially. The Jaguars have an out in his deal this offseason, so Robinson could be motivated to take less money rather than be released. Proposed trade sends Cowboys a Jets five-time Pro Bowler for Brandon Cooks. The Dallas Cowboys may need to get aggressive this offseason if the team hopes to be a Super Bowl contender in 2024. Could the Cowboys strike a blockbuster trade in the coming months? Former NFL general manager Mike Tannenbaum floated a wild trade proposal between the Cowboys and New York Jets. The proposed trade has Dallas landing five-time Pro Bowl linebacker C.J. Mosley in exchange for wideout Brandon Cooks. This really works well for both teams, Tannenbaum noted in a February 16, 2024 episode of ESPN's Get Up. Look, the Jets need outside speed, outside of Garrett Wilson with Aaron Rodgers coming back. They have depth in their front seven. The Cowboys desperately need size and speed at middle linebacker. This is really going to help both teams. Does it really help the Jets and Cowboys as the former NFL exec suggested? Let's examine this blockbuster trade pitch. Cowboys rumors. Trading for Jets star CJ Mosley is not financially viable for Dallas. Mosley is heading into the final season of a five-year, $85 million contract. The defender comes with a $17 million salary along with a sizable $21.4 million cap hit for 2024. Comparatively, Cooks in entering the final season of a two-year, $39.7 million deal. Cooks has an $8 million salary with a $10 million cap hit for 2024. Dallas is already sitting at an estimated $20 million above the salary cap for 2024, per Spatrack. This trade would put Dallas even more above the cap. Financially, this trade proposal does not help the Cowboys. Historically, Dallas has also been reluctant to spend money at the linebacker position. Cowboy hire former commander's defensive coach as assistant under Mike Zimmer. The Dallas Cowboys, amid all the hype they generated with their 12-5 record and NFC East crown, faltered yet again when it mattered most. They suffered a disheartening 48-32 loss to the Green Bay Packers in the first round of the NFL playoffs, and for a team that was supposed to have one of the most stifling defensive units in the league, allowing 48 points to a Jordan Love-led offense wasn't exactly how they envisioned their season would end. 
Thus, the Cowboys are looking to solidify their output on the defensive side of the ball by bringing in fresh minds to help new defensive coordinator Mike Zimmer. To that end, the Cowboys are reportedly hiring former Washington Commanders defensive line coach Jeff Zagonina to the same position, according to Nikki Jabavala of the Washington Post. Poaching a coach from the Commanders definitely seems fair game, especially when it was for the Washington head coaching opening that former Cowboys defensive coordinator Dan Quinn left the team. Zagonina is a well-experienced coach, as he has built up his resume with stints for the Houston Texans, New York Giants and San Francisco 49ers. The Cowboys were able to finalize the final few members of their staff on Friday, making a few crucial hires to fill out Mike Zimmer's staff. In addition to bringing in Jeff Zagonina as the team's new defensive line coach, Dallas brought in Paul Gunther, someone whom Zimmer has extensive experience working with, as the team's new run game coordinator, the first time the Cowboys have employed someone in that position. Gunther is coming in to help Zimmer reinforce a Cowboys defense that gave up plenty of yardage to the Packers in the rushing department in their playoff battle. In addition to Gunther's hiring, the Cowboys also brought in Greg Ellis as Jeff Zagonina's defensive line assistant coach. Ellis is a former Cowboys player, having played for Dallas from 1998 to 2008. At the end of the day, Mike Zimmer doesn't need to overhaul the Cowboys' defense for them to be successful in 2024. All they need is a bit of fine-tuning and some better matchup preparation come postseason time. The Dallas Cowboys could still re-sign Tyron Smith in free agency. The bigger question is how Dallas will handle Smith's future. Thus far, fans and media members have been more prone to moving on from the former pro bowler than the front office. Smith played in 13 games this season and has missed significant time in eight straight seasons. The star had just a $6 million cap hit in 2023 as Smith finished out a lengthy eight-year, $97.6 million deal. The lack of quality offensive linemen around the league means there will still be a demand for Smith in free agency. The Athletics' John Makota believes the Cowboys may still bring Smith back for another season. Smith played in 13 games this season and has missed significant time in eight straight seasons. The star had just a $6 million cap hit in 2023 as Smith finished out a lengthy eight-year, $97.6 million deal. The lack of quality offensive linemen around the league means there will still be a demand for Smith in free agency. The Athletics' John Makota believes the Cowboys may still bring Smith back for another season. What also makes Smith appealing is that if he wants to play another season, he might be willing to do it on a somewhat team-friendly deal, Makota detailed in a February 5 article titled, Ranking the Cowboys' 16 Unrestricted Free Agents. Who do they need to bring back most? Re-signing him for another season would still allow Dallas to draft an offensive lineman in the first or second round. 